These are my estimates for strength levels for a number of exercises for natural bodybuilders. The numbers are in kilos and it's for 5 rep max, not 1 rep max, so the most amount of weight you can use for 5 clean reps with good form. If you're doing 2 or 3 sets of that weight then it's not your true 5 rep max, it needs to be a little bit heavy, it has to be 1 full out set. It's important to remember this is for bodybuilding not powerlifting, even though as naturals uh, training styles are very closely related, the powerlifter will in general be able to achieve a high number on the, uh, especially the three main compounds really, because they're going to be spending more time on those lifts, more volume per week. You know, they're going to be doing uh, more lifts to practice their technique and different variations of those lifts and perhaps spending a little less time on some of the stuff that a bodybuilder should be doing, some of the other lifts. Um, so this is for bodybuilding and, you know, as a general rule of thumb, if you're going to be working towards these last couple of levels here, you're going to be pretty damn muscular and people are going to start to doubt whether you're natural or not. So I've highlighted some of the numbers here in red and this is kind of the level that I am at the moment. It's not the strongest I've been, but um, I just thought I'd show you guys kind of where I am. I guess perhaps these are pretty accurate squats, perhaps a, a shade underneath that. Deadlift I'm not currently doing at the moment. I just don't feel the need for me at the moment. I'm not saying you shouldn't be doing deadlifting, um, but I guess if I were, it would be around this mark. Now, chin-ups and dips are very much influenced by body weight. Now, as I start cutting towards my shows later in the year, uh, these levels will, will no doubt move back up as I lose body fat. Um, overhead press has always been a, a lift that I haven't been that strong on compared to some of the other lifts. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much um, where it is at the moment, I guess. A bent row must be strict. It's very easy to add more weight on the bar if you're using loose form. So, like I said, this isn't the strongest I've been. You know, two years ago, I was training more as a powerlifter, really. Um, I was doing a, a real heavy bulk routine following a, a program called Mad Cow. And I think I did like three or four nine week um, periods on that. And the focus of the routine was mostly bench press, back squat, deadlift, and uh, overhead press and bent row. And I'd say 80% of the work in the gym was focused on improving those lifts. So obviously that shows in the progress that you achieve during your um, workouts. So I'd say I was around this level here um, for most of my lifts, maybe split split between, between these two here. Um, Certainly overhead press was, was uh, perhaps around here. Um, and if I continued that bulk, I was probably at my heaviest around 100 kilos at that point. If I continued that for another uh, year or so, I would have moved you know, further towards that advanced plus maybe master level. Uh, but as it stands, I'm now a little bit weaker. Focus has shifted slightly. And you know, I've been trying some different stuff out in the gym over the past year. Focusing a little bit more on overall volume, um, lighter loads. Um, it's not to be said that you, you can't be a good bodybuilder at these lower levels here and that you can't achieve a aesthetically pleasing physique at these levels. You know, um, I'm not saying that at all. You can be a good bodybuilder at these, these lower levels, but you generally have more potential to be a better and certainly bigger bodybuilder the further up the scale you go. You know, if, if you're at this master level here, then you're going to be extremely muscular. Um, you know, that's for sure. So let's talk about some of the, the factors that can influence your ability to get stronger. Um, and the, the first thing we're going to talk about, strength genetics. So the genetics, the strength levels that you're born with um, vary from person to person. I'd say this is kind of average levels for non-trained uh, people especially perhaps teenagers first looking to get into the gym. Um, good, very good, excellent and elite. Now, the elite level here, if if you continue your training, you're smart with your training, you, you don't suffer from injuries, then you're probably going to be at the top of your game um, in, in any sort of strength event or endeavour that you uh, follow. You add drugs to that mix and you know, you're going to be up there with some of the best in the world. You know, there are guys that start at these levels, um, you know, before they've even trained, that's for sure. I mean, 
if you look at uh, Zaviscus, he was first in the 1995 Lithuanian National Powerlifting Championships. He was already over 125 kilos and he was 20 years old at that time. So you can see the power of genetics and how it influences the ability to get higher. Obviously, if you start higher, it's easier to get to those higher levels. Myself, I started really at this, this level here. I'm very, very average strength genetics. Um, you know, I was always a very slim guy. So hopefully that's that's promising to you guys to see the kind of physique that I've achieved and, and the strength levels, um, knowing that I have pretty much started at the bottom. This is the data in chart format. And what I'll do, I'll put a download link in the next video that I release. So make sure you stay tuned for that one and you can take a look at the document yourself. Uh, it's also important to, to kind of go over the point of drugs and how that can really boost the speed that you can work your way up these levels. Um, you know, you could be starting at this untrained level, maybe train for three months or so and work your way towards the novice level. Um, and then you can maybe take drugs for six months and you could probably work your way up to these levels here. Um, you know, within a period of months, which would take, you know, years as a natural, um, if you have, let's say, average genetics. Um, so yeah, you know, don't compare yourself to, to people in the gym too much. You know, this is just a real rough estimate. Um, and don't get down when you see guys in, in gyms taking steroids and achieving fast results in you. It's going to happen. You know, just focus on yourself as a natural and, and try and be the best you can and make sure you're progressing the way you want to. So I hope the video was somewhat informative. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos on natural bodybuilding and check out all my social media. The links are in the description box below. Stay strong.